Okay. Yeah. There's a volunteer yeah. in the helicopter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll get my guy. Yes. Thank you. Why transparency and open data? For most of you, uh, hackers, one may state that the EU's decision making process is for the trust they place in it. <coughs> Set up some kind of committee uh, to establish a vision. That's something that's logical that it don't. Um, uh, not uh, let you in anymore. Your um, journalist story can also print you know, like user flows or mockups um, and see and um, talk to. Uh, that's interesting if you want to keep the secret for your fellow colleagues. Uh, um, for people who get tired at eight um, laptop, you also get a clicker to um, do that as well. Uh, there will also be some journalists. There will be the high tables. Set up a laptop with um, your pitch and, for example, with a technical demo. And then people can just run. So on the top, uh, since uh, almost the beginning, we have PGP translation memory. It's a very rich content according to the update date. Uh, for information we can find, and we try to promote and create more public awareness of open data. After the new programming period on the listing of the beneficiaries, it's going to come. Can you just add in to your point something from my friends who added their question? The largest single public task that goes into education. We don't have that recognition. Training as a block. We know how much money we have to How much do you have salaries? to spend this year the money in other markets. That is, they, they understand that are more interesting for people. Okay. Yeah. No more pictures? Um. Hi, okay. <laughs> Text mining. <laughs> I'm looking here, there is also
And you spend on the defense. Yeah, and output. Yeah, yeah, and then output, yeah. how many. Um, this is what we have already. Yeah. For spending on solar power or wind energy. Or it's European impact that all. Go you draw conclusions from putting this to the most uh, receiving right now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of different things. And if you're from that. Oh, it's the same. The, the vote can still be that even. And this is which one is very. Which is the competitive. So, what's the possibility? You can ask. You can ask them. Because you can see the time uh, timeline. So what should they have the legislature to dispatch it yeah. Yeah. from? Yeah, uh, well, okay. okay. But we need, but need, but we need to find one that. Uh, like um, still to receive the card or one yeah. no, 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 they were yeah, not allowed to represent their country. So what, uh, what do we offer? What is it in here for you? February 25th, 2015, the commission adopted a framework strategy. I would like to thank all organizers. And we decided to do something about it. Really, let's look at something that would interest individuals. We decided to go and do something that can be also uh, interesting for individuals. Uh, Xavier, what member state was the biggest uh, vote no voter, who had the most against and uh, the most abstentions. Policies and legislation and increase their acceptance. Our question was how uh, much European funding goes to which country. We can see that almost uh, 600 euros is invested for Belgium. against the finalists of all the other diplomats for the main prize.